Is it still worth pursuing a computer science degree in 2025 going into 2026? Well, the short answer is, if it's something you're interested in or something you care about, then yes, absolutely. However, if you're looking to breeze through college and land an easy, cushy job, you're cooked. It's not the major for you. Similar to what I said in my hackathon video, breaking into tech or specifically becoming a software engineer, it's not easy, but it's consistent, despite what people on Reddit say. I'm going to tell you a little story about me and why I chose computer science. And it started in high school. Senior year, it was COVID. I didn't have any passions. I didn't know what I wanted to do in the future, but I knew I needed to go to college. So I figured I was good at math. I should be an engineer and electrical engineering sounded the coolest. So that's what I did. I enrolled at my local community college with the plans of taking some pre-engineering classes, transferring them to university. Boom, easy. And in my first year of college, I saw a YouTube short about someone making a game with Python using Pygame. And that weekend I was like, I don't have anything to do. Let's try it. So I downloaded Python and I got to work. And after spending all day writing some pirate software level code, I realized I had spent all day coding, like no joke, nine hours straight of just Googling how to do stuff, debugging, testing my game, and I had a lot of fun doing it. And so the next day, I did the same thing. I spent all day, morning to night, working on this dinky little game, and I realized this is something I could do every day and enjoy doing it. So I started looking into it, how to become a software engineer, and I saw a lot of Frank Niu videos basically saying how much money you can make as a software engineer. And you know, this was prime COVID, everyone was getting hired, uh, your aunt's dog, your babysitter, your mailman, anyone would just look up a video on how to code, boom, land six figures. But that's not how it is anymore. Everyone was on this big tech hype train. I thought I was gonna land an easy 18 figure job right out of college. But the difference between me and everyone else was I was a sweat. I liked coding. I could spend all day long working on something and not even realize it. So throughout my first two years of college, I kept meeting people and I was hoping they would be like me, sweats, and I would ask them, oh, what do you work on? What languages do you know? And they all had the same answer. Oh, I don't work on anything. I don't do any coding outside of class because I don't like to code. And that's the problem. This major is not a major that you can just show up to class and then get a job. You need to be working, you need to be getting internships, you need to be learning outside of school. It's a major that you need to be passionate about, but it's also the type of major that will reward you for that passion. So if you're someone who enjoys coding and you want to improve, you should be a computer science major. Despite what any of the employment metrics say, despite what your peers say, despite what CS Careers says on Reddit, if you wanna be a software engineer, you need to have a degree. Of course, there's exceptions, but let's just keep it real. A big problem is that it's easier to fear monger than it is to inspire. And people online love to do just that. You're gonna see a ton of stories about CS majors who can't get internships, graduates who can't get jobs. But the truth of the matter is, there's never gonna be a shortage for excellence, ever. In any job, in any market, in any place and time, if you're good at what you do, if you care about what you do, you'll be fine. Most of these posts are from soy boy Redditors who didn't go to class, or they didn't care about the field they're in, or maybe it's lazy engineers who spent seven years working at the same job. They got comfortable. They refused to learn any new technologies. They refused to stay up to date. They just refused to learn and improve themselves. And then, you know, you get laid off and you try to get a new job but you realized you spent your whole career pigeonholed with one old technology, it, it's just not gonna work. What you're not seeing is the Giga Chads who are passionate about technology and are actually getting jobs and are taking the time to improve and work hard and continue learning, stay sharp and just keep grinding, right? The best and worst thing about computer science is that it's an infinite skill gap kind of career. There's just too much to learn, and you could spend your whole life becoming an expert, and you could meet another expert, and you two could have nothing in common. It's insane. 
Anyways, I'm not trying to scare you away from the field. I'm just telling you the truth. If you're not ready to spend your life learning, it's not the field for you. But if you are, start hitting the leap codes. That's all I got.